Welcome back to Free Media, I'm Robbie Suave. And I'm Amber Duke. Kamala Harris finally sat down for an interview with the media, accompanied by her running mate Tim Walls. She fielded questions from CNN's Dana Bash, and Bash asked about the vice president's numerous policy flip-flops, to which Kamala replied that her values had never changed. Let's watch. The most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. You mentioned the Green New Deal. I have always believed, and I have worked on it, that the climate crisis is real, that it is an urgent matter to which we should apply metrics that include holding ourselves to deadlines around time. We did that with the Inflation Reduction Act. We have set goals for the United States of America and by extension the globe around when we should meet certain standards for reduction of greenhouse gas emissions as an example. That value has not changed. My value around what we need to do to secure our border, that value has not changed. I spent two terms as the Attorney General of California prosecuting transnational criminal organizations, violations of American laws regarding the passage, illegal passage of guns, drugs, and human beings across our border. My values have not changed. So I actually completely agree with Kamala Harris that her values have not changed, but what her values actually are is just, I will say anything to to get elected that I think will be beneficial. And some of the things she said in the past that she thought, maybe she thought they were gonna help her get the Democratic nomination. Obviously this time around, she was just declared the candidate without having to you know, grapple with Democratic primaries and take unpopular progressive um, stances the way she did in 2020. Um, yeah, I, I think her values are that she wants to be president. And now she knows that a lot of the things she said on the border and on energy, which are in direct contradiction to what she's saying now, were not good for general election audiences and shows she's changing her tune. This line was an absolute gift to the Trump campaign, by the way, that line, my values have not changed. They are now running wall to wall mm -hmm. with the idea that she is exactly who she claimed to be during that 2020 Democratic primary when she came out with all of these radical policy positions in 2019. And it's just right there for them to play that clip over and over and over again. So whoever worked up that line with her, I think made a huge mistake, but it, obviously, Dana Bash did not, in this interview, do a very good job of following up on these yeah. questions. I mean, she asked right? about them. She asked about them, but then it's... And she did call, she said, you know, this is different, what's the right. deal? And then Kamala said what she but said. But I wish she, she would have run down, down each yeah. specific policy change so that she wasn't able to lump them all under this singular umbrella and get away with this really generic line. She should have had to answer for the change on electric vehicle mandate. She yeah. should have had to answer for her change on the Green New Deal. She should have had to answer for her change on uh, decriminalization of illegal border crossings, one by one by one. And she didn't do that. And she was able to, again, skate out from under this idea that this was all just part of her coming to terms with her yeah. values and how best to achieve them. And this is the type of political conversion that happens when someone's in college. This is not something that just magically happens over a four-year period when you've already been in politics for 20 years. And if this was any other um, election cycle, she would have had to explain this on a debate stage against other candidates, maybe some of those candidates who still supported those policies, maybe some of them didn't support them and never had, and then she would have had to say, and you'd have voters determining whether, well, we believe you now or we want who you are now, there would have been this vetting process, but because she was just declared the candidate by Democratic elites, it actually does fall to whichever mainstream media people can actually get in the room with her. Finally, she sat down for an interview with, uh, with someone, um, accompanied by Tim Walls, her running mate, uh, which ended up, I think, having very weird optics. Not that it matters all that much, but it was like, the whole thing looked weird, the way they were sitting around this table. Um, there was a little of her characteristic kind of, um, she speaks slowly, she, uses, she says a lot of words, but doesn't say very much, and talks in this kind of circular sort of logic where she ends up saying, I mean, just like Selena Meyer from Veep, where she says a lot of words, but not, much substance at all. You mean deadlines related to time yeah. is yeah. not particularly inspiring to you? Yeah, when she talks about time, she really gets <laughs> like 
know. <laughs> it's insane. As, Gen, uh, Gen X vague. You're right that the aesthetics of the interview were really, really bad. They had Kamala in the background and her running mate and the interviewer in the foreground. So she looked tiny. And if you've never seen Dana Bash in person, she's like five feet tall. I mean, she is a very small person. Oh, really? Yes. And Kamala looked like a shrimp next to her. She's wearing gray on this entirely black and gray set. That's supposedly a diner, but it looks like a soulless corporate boardroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just really, really horrible lighting. Everybody was washed out. It was It looked like you were being, she was being called in for an HR violation. Yes, or exactly. <laughs> um, but I, I do have a theory about Tim Walls being there. And I think as much as it was to be this shield for Kamala, I think the opposite is true as well. Because Tim Walls got maybe one question about all of his inconsistencies, yeah. particularly relating to his military service record and then his comments about him and his wife's fertility treatments. Um, but again, he was able to reply to this one question with the claim that he has bad grammar and he just talks like regular folk and that's the extent of it. And now everybody else in the mainstream media gets to say, well, we've already covered that. He's already responded to it. We don't need to press him any further. So he gets thrown in this interview where Kamala is the star of the show and everything that he said in response Kinda to- Kind of gets buried. Exactly. Yeah, Dana Bash asked, questions I definitely wanted her to ask uh, about the exaggerations that Tim Walz is becoming known for and about the flip-flopping of Kamala Harris, did, but didn't, did not drill down on it, I'll say this, we did not drill down on it with the enthusiasm of someone questioning a Republican political figure, for sure. instance, right? It would have been way more, and in fact, J.D. Vance had a way more adversarial interview. Tom Cotton, which we're going to talk about in a minute, had a way more adversarial interview with uh, uh, Kirsten Welker. Um, on uh, on NBC and then the JD Vance interview that I forget. Which it was with Dana like. Bash. It was with Dana Bash. Yes. That's right. So there's a direct <laughs> comparison. Way, way, she asked way him like six sure. questions in yeah. a row about the trial as cat lady comments, yeah. and we got one question about Tim Walls abandoning his unit when he knew about the deployment, yeah. according to his supervisor, claiming that he carried weapons in war, and then using the false title of command sergeant and repeatedly allowing other people to introduce him as an yeah. Afghanistan and Iraq war veteran without any correction. And I think it's fine that J.D. Vance gets really grilled when he talks to mainstream media, but it's just, it's kid gloves when it's um, when it's the Democrats compared to that. Yeah, it's the inconsistency. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if the media didn't have double standards, yeah. they wouldn't have any standards. That's right. All right, more free media right after this. 